Hi everyone, Wendy here. I'm in the gallery in between visitors um, and I have time for a pretty quick craft. So I thought today we would make little tiny pom-pom hats. Super cute, really easy um, sort of ski hat. Um, this one is a little smaller than Barbie size, but I think we've also got, um, I mean, scale it as you need to. Um, this one is just for show. This is the first one I've ever made. And look, I had a little mess up, so hopefully this one will be better. So you need kind of stiff paper. Um, I'm using part of a bag um, that was in the gallery, and you want it to be about the width of your finger. So um, you'll need you're going to need some kind of stiff paper, like maybe a little stiffer than copier paper but you could probably make this walk, work with copier paper. You're also gonna need some yarn or string. If you're going small scale, if you're making a dollhouse one, use maybe uh, embroidery floss, I think would actually be really pretty. But um, maybe for your first one, try something bigger because it's always easier to work at a larger scale. So, um, and then I cut off about a finger's width of um, paper. And then the other thing that we need is tape, which I forgot. So uh, I'm going to pause it right here, grab my tape, and then be right back. Tape, paper, yarn, and some scissors. That's what we need. Okay, so um, what I did is I figured out how big I want it to be. One of the things with this one, it does kind of look Barbie size, but you couldn't put it on a Barbie because it's too thick. So if you want it to be um, worn and not just like a decoration or held in a hand, um, you're going to need to like account for that. But I'm just making mine for decoration, so I'm going to just go, you know, Put loose and fancy free here um, and then just grab a little piece of tape it doesn't have to be perfect it's not going to be seen um, figure out how big you want your loop I mean if you're organized feel free to like cut everything beforehand and I'm as you have known not an organized crafter um, and then I'm just going to tape this side you're not going to see any of this so it doesn't really matter um, this is a little thicker than I wanted it, so if it's a little thicker, you can just trim it down. Um, no big thing. Look at that. We're ready to go. Um, all right. And then the next thing you're going to do, there's probably a way that you could measure this um, and be very exact. I think it is easier just to sort of, um, we're going to need loops about this long and so I think the easiest thing to do is just to sort of spread your hand out and I hold it like that and then I just there you go and you're gonna need a bunch of them because you're gonna have to go all the way around the hat um, but you can always do more um, so this looks like enough to show you cut it off and then you're gonna cut through the top of the loop. So look at that. They're all sort of the same length and a little bit staticky. All right, so for this next part, you're gonna have to get up close. I'm actually gonna come right here. So you're going to want to fold one of your pieces of string in half, thread it through your paper loop and then both of these ends which I have now made not the same length are going to go through the top of the loop and it forms a little like it holds like it's not it's like a knot so we're going to want to do that all the way around so I'll show you again I'm going to fold it in half Thread it through and then 
we're going to thread it through the loop and it's got a match and it's you know it doesn't have to be um, right next to it you know I mean to start because you can just squish it over um, and then we'll do another one and so be thinking about the colors like this you can do multiple colors you can do all matching colors um, this is a, a gradiated yarn so it changes colors so you know kind of think about if you have yarn like my yarn you know you can put in stripe patterns um, not horizontal stripes but you can put in stripe patterns and all sorts of stuff and see this one's not exactly even but I think it's gonna be okay so I'm just gonna leave it um, all right so this is basically you do this all the way around Okay, so once you've gone all the way around, you might have to, you know, spread them out a little bit. Um, make sure you have no gaps. Um, and then, so, you know, it kind of looks like a really fuzzy windsock or something. Here we are. And then you're going to take all of this and shove it through the middle. Um, so now all of your loose pieces are a little bit shorter and, um, you know, kind of like straighten it out a little bit because this is going to create that like nice brim on your hat. Um, you know, so it'll look like a nice like folded up little little winter, winter cap here. And then you're going to need... Um, another piece of string um, and you're gonna just tie it and this is the whole top part of your hat so decide how um, the, the, ta the leftover piece up here is we're gonna turn into the pom-pom and the lower piece is gonna be um, the hat part of the hat the top part of the hat and I think I want to go I think this looks good to me and obviously you can redo this um, this part pretty easily if you decide you don't like the height at this point it's pretty easy tight nice and tight tight double knot there we go so you could leave it crazy pom-pom style um, you could keep these parts down lower um, and eventually like tie it into a bow and now we're just gonna trim this top part into a super cute pom-pom be our super cute little wintry wintry goodness cozy hat um, so you know trim it the way you like it um, it could be a very tiny pom-pom um, I'm kind of into this this level I think I am gonna tie like a super cute little bow could be my super cute hat um, if my fingers will let me today um, maybe I won't do a bow nope can't give up all right here we go super cute little bow tighten it down 
there we are. Super cute little hat, number two. Um, it's the first one I made, and the second one I made. So yeah, they're pretty cute. It's a pretty easy little craft. Um, I can't wait to see how yours turn out. Thanks for trying.